Welcome back, everyone, to our seven key chapters to introduce the Bible. We're moving into the New Testament today, and today's key is the big one. Really, it's the key of keys. The Bible itself tells us that if you miss this one, you miss the whole point of Scripture. And speaking of missing the point, before I get to the key, I have a question. Why is it that some people who read the Bible, I mean read it a lot, just end up judgmental, self-righteous, and mean? It happens. Happens a lot. Jesus had a run-in with a group like that in John chapter 5. He's talking to some self-righteous religious men who did a lot of Bible study. So what was it that they missed? Well, check it out. Jesus said to them, You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. Okay, did you catch that? What they missed in all their Bible study was Jesus. And so, Bible key number five is Jesus. All the scriptures testify about him. So let's take a look at Jesus in John chapter 1 and see if we can find some connections between Jesus and the Bible keys we've learned so far. I love this chapter, by the way. So let's dig in at John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So John takes us way back, back before the world even began. And there in the beginning was the Word. Now, a little explanation. Back when John wrote this, the Greeks had a concept known as the Word, or in Greek, logos. Basically, it means the original, or the perfect model. For everything or concept, they said there must be an original, the quintessential one that every other is modeled after. They called it the Logos. So in John's first introduction of Jesus, he says, Jesus is the Logos, the original, the quintessential one, the Word. Now, think back to Bible key number one. We ask the question, what is the Bible? The answer, it's the Word of God. And here in key number five, Jesus is the Word. And notice back in verse one that the Word was with God and the Word was God. In the very first sentence, John makes it as clear as any language can express, Jesus is God, and he has always been God since the very beginning. And then in verse 3, through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. So everything was made through Jesus. Everything. Now remember that Bible key number two was origins, where we came from. Well, John says our origins trace back to Jesus. John doesn't mince words here. Without Jesus, nothing was made that has been made. And then verse 4, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. All right, if the first statement wasn't big enough, it gets even bigger. In him was life, and the life that you find in Jesus, that life is light. It's how we see. Light makes everything make more sense. And then down to verse 14, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. All right, here we have the mystery of Jesus. He is the original, the quintessential one, the eternal God, the Word. And the Word became flesh. God became a man, fully God, fully human, 200%. Now, all of this is massive in its claim, not to be taken lightly. If it's not true, it's blasphemy. If it's true, it's everything. And remember the ground rules. I respect your right to believe as you choose. But how do you decide what to believe on something this big? We need witnesses. We need testimony. The Bible uses that word a lot. Testimony is evidence. The Bible is a call to believe. And so it comes with testimony. In fact, God sent a man ahead of Jesus to testify. His name was John the Baptist. Different John, by the way. And what did John the Baptist testify? Look at verse 29. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. All right, think back to key number three. Remember Israel, faith, covenant, and God's big plan to save the world? Well, here's the Savior. God kept his promise. Now, coming up in key number six, we'll look at the disciples and what it means to follow Jesus. For now, this chapter ends with a story and the testimony of one of those disciples, Nathaniel, the first time he met Jesus. In verse 49, he says, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. 
You are the king of Israel. Now, hold on a second. Son of God, king of Israel? Nathaniel just met Jesus. How on earth did he know all of that so fast? Because Nathaniel was reading the Bible too. But he didn't miss the point. He read the scriptures. He knew the promises. Remember key number four, prophecy, the kingdom of God that lasts forever? Well, the king is Jesus. Nathaniel read the Bible and he got it. And that is all for Bible key number five. Jesus, the king of kings, and today, the key of keys. Well, the door is open. Go check out John 1. And for a deeper look, check out the Through the Word app for audio guides in Luke, John, and also Colossians is a great place to get to know Jesus. And we'll see you back here for key number six.